Because there have always been lots of movies dealing with, you know, massive alien attacks, alien invasions, what would happen. Sometimes they take themselves very seriously, other times they're more comedic. Mars Attacks, ironically, tried to be a lot more comedic in taking more of kind of like the, uh, the older B-movie feel, throwing in a bunch of, at that time, fairly A-list stars, and having a really fantastic, you know, visual effects done from Dust Our Light and Magic. One of the flaws in this movie is that while it is very visually appealing, and, you know, the, the Martians use all sorts of crazy devices like shrinkers, disintegrators, it seems to be lacking the one little spark that would actually make it a lot more enjoyable and funny. I think it's actually it's a pretty decent movie, and the plot is really, really simple. Some Martians show up, and through using a universal translator, they have a meeting with the United States. Somebody releases a dove, they view that as kind of an act of aggression, shoot the dove, and then go on to kill half of the Senate, half of Congress, which probably not bad of a thing, and then begin to go around and destroy lots and lots of landmarks. As well as transport Sergius Crocker's body, uh, head and body, so they put a dog head on her body and they put her head on a dog body. Ironically, nowadays we probably would have chosen horse, but then we wouldn't have told. We wouldn't have seen a difference. All in all, this one's kind of bizarre, goofy, like mid '90s, trying to make fun of the movies of the '60s and '70s. It has a very good Tim Burton-esque feel to it. So, it's a unique, sort of bizarre movie, where you've got lots of stars in it really decent ensemble cast, normally doing things that are kind of ridiculous. And it seems does take itself super serious, but you'll definitely get to see super bizarre alien weaponry being used to destroy large portions of the Earth. 